Hello! Today, for the first time, I will show you a board that is made in my country. Croatia is a small country and I was happy to find out that products like this are produced here. This is an ink plate 6. Huge e-paper display controlled by this big ESP32 microcontroller. You don't see e-paper displays very often on my channel, but let's try something different. E-paper displays have one great feature. If I power off this board, the image will still remain on the screen. And it will stay here forever. Ok, maybe not forever. This feature is great if you want to save a battery, electricity or something. You can power your board only when you need to update the content of the display. In meanwhile, you can put this board in deep sleep. They are great as image frames. And I need to say images look great on this device. But she would look great on 7 segment display also. They are great for reading and e-paper displays are used by many e-readers. But when you combine e-paper display with ESP32, you can get nicer results. For example, this Bitcoin ticker. The ESP32 chip is connected to my Wi-Fi network and every few seconds the display will update and show me the current Bitcoin price. In this video I will show you more interesting projects for this board. I will show you how I made this awesome clock project. But first, let's take a closer look. The board is produced by a soldered company. And on their website you can see that they have a whole series of similar products. Some of them are even in color or they have touch screens. I will leave links in the description so you can check it. Board I have is an Inkplate 6. 6 inch e-paper display with 800 by 600 resolution. Inkplate 6 is crowdfunded back in 2020 and you can see that campaign was successful. Right now they have another campaign on Kickstarter. This smaller Inkplate 2, which is also interesting. But I have an Inkplate 6, so I will talk about this board. Front side is a simple, huge e-paper display. For size comparison, here is the Arduino Uno. And here is the ruler. And here are three touchpads. I prefer push buttons, but touchpads are also nice. On the back side we have a ESP32 microcontroller, SD card slot, real-time clock chip and battery which will keep real-time clock chip running, battery connector and yes, if you plug both USB and battery, battery will recharge. On off switch, don't forget to turn on board every time before uploading, reset button, additional input output pins, easy C connector which is used for I square C modules, wake up switch and if this LED is annoying to you you can turn it off using this switch. I like this. I will probably use it as a clock. And this is my example of a clock. I created this design in Paint.net. Image is saved on this SD card. And in this part of the screen I printed the current time and date. Because this board has a built-in real-time clock chip here. And now you will say, Volos, you used 800 by 600 display just to show time. And you even added a watch image, which don't make sense. And I will say, yes, I did. This is my channel, next time I will put a carrot here. And if you like this this way, you can download code and image files. Links are in description. I made this to test this board and I think it looks good. 
Best part is that I made this very fast, maybe in uh, less than an hour. And I made it that fast because documentation for this product is great. Maybe best I saw. I installed this in no time in Arduino IDE. I find the instructions on um, their web page. In the library folder I find many interesting projects and many examples. You can find example for every feature. So I combined the real-time clock example with SD card image example and I made this. On their web page I find a lot, a lot of useful information and what is best I find it this. Full documentation. Here you can find every function, every feature, here is everything. Usually I'm using boards which are made in China and documentation for these boards is very often bad. So well done, this documentation is great, maybe best I saw. It is really easy to learn how to program this, just don't forget to turn the board on while uploading code. That's it, I hope you like this board. I like it very much, tell me what you think in the comments. If this is your first time here please subscribe, don't forget to check, check the links in the description, have a nice day and don't forget to eat vegetables. Bye.